Hi everybody, Blackout here, Michael Biggins, and uh, I have been posting a lot of clips. I've been out doing auditions and directing music videos and short films, and I'm an actor director, but I'm primarily an actor. I was raised acting uh, with a lot of improv experience, so when this game uh, came out, You Star 2, I was immensely excited. I was, I, I was obsessed by it, uh, to say the least. So I haven't had time to really play with it. What the game does is it puts you um, into, I, I apologize for the crappy lighting here, it's like 3 in the morning and I, I, I didn't have time to set up lights. Um, so this is just a webcam upload. The game puts you into, um, into, into films, but not just like a green screen where there's just a flat layer and you are, you know, in front of like a weather screen or in front of Hawaii or something. That, that's, eh, anyone could do that now with some modern hardware. What, what this does is actually puts you into this space. It removes one of the actors from a movie and it puts you into the space where the actor would be. So you could be Kirk in Star Trek uh, talking to Spock and Bones or you could be Spock or Bones talking to Kirk and the funniest thing about the game really is the, uh, to me at least, improv and completely changing the lines. Now they make it a game where you score points by reading the teleprompter and doing the lines. And that's alright, I guess, and can be fun for some people. But really, the joy of the game lies in making up ridiculous scenes uh, that where you change it's I get they call it a script flip but I just call it improving where you know putting a complete different character doing a different voice doing a different lines reading and matching the timing where you hit it uh, where it really meshes and you change the meaning for instance there's a Blues Brothers uh, scene included and I have a clip up where I take the John Belushi character he's only got like two lines which is hit it um, and Dan Aykroyd's going, you know, it's it's night, we got a hundred and something miles to Chicago, full tank of gas, and we're wearing sunglasses. And instead of saying, hit it, I, I had the hat and I was dressed similar, and you position yourself, I go, look, to Walmart. Little things like that really make the game hysterical, it can make it fun. I joked around the tri triples, I did a scene with uh, the mummy, where I was talking to the mummy from the movie The Mummy, but I was talking to my mom as that I wasn't going to give her any Ambien or Xanax because she had a problem. So it cuts back to me, cuts back to The Mummy, growling, oh, no, I'm not giving you... And so you see these situations are really hysterical, they can be really funny. The issue I had was that I have an Xbox Connect, and it just was not giving me the quality that was in their commercials that I was seeing it just wasn't doing it and while it was still neat and still incredibly fun to play I was not that happy with the quality on the Xbox Connect. Now I have tweaked the lighting I have positioned a white screen, green screen three-point lighting, all sorts of different things. I've improved the quality but still you're you know you have an Xbox which is connected to an HD 1920 by 1080 screen and you're getting like not even a 320 by 240 clip. So that was upsetting to me. That's the downside of this. Um, they contacted me and I'm, I'm going to talk to them. So who knows? Um, the one thing I have to say, the team at Ustar and Ustar 2 is incredible. You post and they've got people working 24-7. Now maybe it's just because they just launched and they're really trying to push the game. Hopefully the support continues because everyone's been making suggestions and talking about quality because there's three versions out now. There's a PC version. I'll get into that in a second. That's really called U-Star 1. Uh, Y-O-O-S-T-A-R. And they kind of have buried that under the dust. Um, and I ordered it. Now originally that's why I guess it didn't do so well. It was a, a $180 device that came with a camera and a green screen and a stand and a remote control, all this stuff. Well, I found it on Amazon for 30 bucks, And because I was not totally happy with the quality of this, while I was amazed with the game, and I'm hoping they're going to improve the quality, today, in the mail, came this 
I had no idea this gigantic, gigantic box, which is the original you So now I opened it. I, 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 I took it out of here. And I mean, I haven't even begun to... Look at this. This is ridiculous. So this is how they started. And it's this... Look at this. There's like... A, B, C, D, E, F, G, there's a webcam, a stand, a green screen, 18-page steps on how to position it. So, from what I've been hearing from everyone, this U-Star 1 has the best quality. It, it has better quality, but it was too complex, too expensive, and had too many issues, so it didn't, it wasn't successful. So, they seem to have canned that. They're still supporting it. I haven't gotten to hook it up yet. Um, so I haven't played with it yet, but I have seen others clips compare the PlayStation, the Xbox 360 Connect version, and this one, and it really does, as a, as a professional actor and director, uh, and DP, I can tell you, it looks to me that that one is superior. Downside is they are kind of burying that one. It only comes with 10 clips. You have to buy more clips. You can't even, this, it's like the U-Star 1 side is hidden. And they're just promoting U Star 2. So that's where that lies. Anyway, I just want to say that the game is phenomenal. Um, as far as I know, the quality levels are U Star PC best. Comes with the webcam, comes with a cam, a stand, green screen, everything. So, and you can get it for like 40 bucks because they're used now. I mean, I, this was new, but meaning uh, people are selling out lots of it on Amazon. Uh, forty dollars thirty dollars and and they're still new this was new it was sealed and it was originally hundred eighty dollars so if you're a quality nut you might want to check that out now the experience can't be matched of the console games and the second level of quality would probably be the PlayStation 3 now I I, I don't want to say that because I have an Xbox 360 connect here so I'd love to say that that was better and that the Xbox 3d sensor connect system was great, but the downside of the Xbox is that unfortunately it doesn't seem to have the greatest camera, meaning this camera that I'm not on now, a uh, webcam, going live, not even in a high quality mode. This is the lowest quality mode of the uh, Logitech C910, meaning that has it just blows away the camera quality off of the Xbox. So the Xbox will have a very cool infrared 3D motion tracking, not the best webcam. So the order of quality appears to be to me, and this is not official yet, I need to do more testing, but it appears to be U-Star, the old U-Star 1, which is kind of swept under the rug by the company, but still supported. They're not not supporting it. It's just they're not really talking about it or promoting it. Then U-Star 2, which is that they're promoting this like crazy. It's on Ellen. It's on uh, Mashable. It's, on, it's all over the place. Um... For the PlayStation and then for the Kinect. Now, granted, most people are not insane quality nuts like me. They're not looking to get. I I, I want you know an a, an HD version out where it really looks like the movie. That's what I'd like. I'm sure they don't want to do that because of rights issues. Who knows what the actual reasons are? Tech issues, the quality of the camera. There could be billions of different reasons. Um, but I think they're going to work to improve it. It it does need some improvement right now. You can export to YouTube. You uh, you you can just use their their Facebook app and a Twitter link that links to their Facebook app. So and it's not working on mobile either. So I think they really need to work on this. Um, I, it seems that they are. Uh, they and the other thing is that it's teen rated. So if you do something that's questionable, and of course we all would, if uh, all improv artists, I mean, there's so many funny, funny, funny opportunities. A uh, hundred clips or eighty clips are featured on here, then you can download packs, uh, movies, I don't know how many I have out in total, but the U-Star 2, there's a lot more. And regardless of the quality, I have to say the game is incredibly fun, it's, it requires a little bit of a lighting setup and, and uh, most people are not that good at it. The point rating system uh, needs work, meaning the most creative ones that I've seen are, are people who would be good at improv and good actors that are not just going on and, you know, reading the lines. But 
the point system is weird. So the people who are at the top of however their point system ranking thing works, I don't agree with it. Meaning, I've seen these incredible performances, <coughs> including myself, that should be higher up in the list that are kind of like lost. And then it doesn't seem that their view count is accurate. There, so there's these technical flaws. There's voting flaws. I really think there needs to be higher quality. Um, of the original one on the consoles. I don't know if it's possible or not. I know that they they have a very responsive team. I, I still recommend getting the game. I'm going to give it uh, five stars in fun, three stars in quality on the Xbox. Um, there's just, it's too small. You know, it's like you're seeing a little tiny clip. So I'd like to see that improved. Uh, but I have to say, amazing. I mean, I've wanted something like this for a long time. This is the technology you saw in Forrest Gump where they inserted uh, Tom Hanks shaking Kennedy's hand basically and that cost millions of dollars. Now, you know, under $50 and and you, you can do it and then share it with people. So they need to make the sharing better. They need to bring the quality level up. They need to, you know, maybe they may have to watermark it, copyright something or whatever so that uh, the licenses. I'm sure there's incredible licensing issues going on with their legal department. Um, but they need to make it more accessible, meaning people want to see the best quality and share it with their friends and see it on their mobile and see it on their YouTube and see it, you know, where they can put it on the TV. Even on your Xbox, it's not, you can't see the full screen. Even on your Xbox where you've paid and bought for the game, you're still seeing it in the little screen in the middle. And then if you export that to Facebook, you're seeing it on a little screen in the middle of Facebook, on a little screen in the middle of Ustar, so it's this real tiny, tiny clip. That's a problem. That's an issue. They need to address that. Ustar, if you're watching this, please address it. But the game is still fantastically fun, especially if you're an actual actor and you want to do some improv and you want to have some fun with it. Even if you're not an actor, just to play around with it and see yourself uh, in movies and, and, and playing around with it. The experience is incredible, so I have to give it five stars on the idea and playability and, and hope that the quality level gets better. So that's for Ustar 2, which is what they're currently supporting. They still have this massive thing. I will, I will put up another video when I, when I, this is insane. This is heavy too. This is, and I got this for, I mean, 30 something bucks. Uh, so this is Ustar 1. For the crazy techno people uh, who, who love the idea and want to get the most out of it, you can you can still use U Star One, but they don't appear to be promoting it. So I will have another video and uh, probably feature on my show uh, Black House Box Live Sunday night from 9 p.m. to midnight. Some of these clips and <laughs> some of the clips that I couldn't show. Uh, on the U-Star site because they were uh, they were a bit uh, beyond the T T rating. Uh, that's my review for now. A lot of people have a lot of questions between the different consoles: U-Star One, U-Star Two, PlayStation Connect. I hope I've answered it. And I am really enthused about this. I would like to work for these guys, maybe doing some of the clips. That's how much I I, I want to see this game succeed because the technology is just fantastic. It, it's, it's amazing. If it could be brought up to a better quality level, which I'm sure it will be, um, I, don't, I don't know what the holdup on that is, why they went down from consoles from PC. Probably the PCs are too complex and the consoles are more unified hardware so they could make the experience easier. There's a lot, of, you know, when a PC software comes out, there's all these variables. Your PC is not the same as your moms and your friends and this everyone's got a different graphic card, different sound card, different webcam, different this. So it was probably a lot harder for them, and that's why the first product didn't take off, and it was $180 at launch, as far as I know. Whereas uh, Xbox 360s are standard; everyone's got the same hardware, and they have to have the Kinect, and that's it. And it's got the same graphics card, and same thing. PlayStation 3's got the same software. That's why Netflix looks better on your. Xbox and it does in your PC because they have to lower the quality on the PC to the lowest uh, common denominator to make it work. Whereas on the Xbox or on the PlayStation, they know the specs. They're locked. Uh, and that's my hypothesis.